Wow guys, what a beautiful day in the neighborhood, really. Finally a nice summer day. People are relaxing, you can see some people bathing down there, you know. So, uh, you have these islands on the other side. A light, a lighthouse. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, what am I doing here, me? I am fishing. Yeah, this is my fishing rod. What? This? Oh, that's a three ounce, uh, three ounces uh, lead. Why is it on top? And the hook set at the bottom? It's because I am planning on catching a sturgeon. That's why. That kind of setup guarantees you a sturgeon and some catfish. I will not catch no walleye, no nothing, no bass. That's the setup that you use to catch a sturgeon. And uh, shall we begin? Let's go. Guys, as I promise you, no more catfish. So I'm going to let that one go. No choice. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll. it's beautiful. I'll give it a break. You're lucky, man. Yeah, I already have four of them in my freezer, guys. So yeah, I'm going to let it go. Look at that baby. All right, let's for him. Uh, that's my uh, second fish. I think that uh, is vigorous. Let me see. Yeah, that's a catfish. I think you know now it's night time, and uh, yeah, that's the time of uh, catfish. As soon as I get a sturgeon, I'm gonna leave. So I'm gonna try uh, two more times. So let's release them. Oh, hold on. Yeah, hello guys. It's almost 10 o'clock and uh, I have this fish here. I have no clue what, what kind of fish that is. Look, I've never seen this fish before. He's alive and well. So I'm gonna take it home with me. I threw back, uh, the catfish so that's my line I'm gonna try one more time and uh, maybe like 10 more minutes I'm trying for a sturgeon you know and uh, if it's negative then I, I'm, I'm gonna go home and uh, maybe I'm gonna clean it tonight or but I'm not gonna eat it tonight but I will definitely eat that fish <laughs> I don't know what that is, but it looks like something from the sea. Look how many scales and stuff that's on that fish, you know? So, yeah, it's, it's pitch black, you know, nothing is going on, guys. I think I'm going to leave. Hello, guys. Um, I got this fish from fishing in fresh water so I don't understand I mean that fish doesn't look like a fish from fresh water or freshwater fish look at his mouth everything is that all right look guys he's even got a tongue so I don't know it doesn't look that's a weird fish I'm gonna call it unknown I I don't know, it doesn't look like a freshwater fish. So let's open it up and see what's inside. It's possible that's a fish from the sea and they migrate through like fresh water to lay their eggs and stuff like that. It, it, it's possible, look. Look how many scales and they're like huge. So let's see. Mm -hmm. All right, what's that? Man, look how thick and dark the blood is. Gee. Man. Oh, 
that's the fish. And of course, you know for sure the fish is so narrow. I would think that there's lots of bones in that fish. I wouldn't be surprised that that fish is, is bony. Yeah. Look inside, guys. Hmm. That's a narrow fish, you know, like probably like a very fast fish because look, it's very narrow, it's, it's very flashy. Uh, so let's just, that's all garbage. And let's just get rid of the fins. Yes. Come on. That fish is bony, guys. Whoa. Man. <laughs> How about that? This should be easy. Yeah, I'm gonna call it unknown unless you guys know exactly what that fish is. You know? Yeah, for now I'm, I'm gonna call it unknown. Never seen his kind before. A lot of bones. You know, uh, so whatever not good, we'll put it in a plastic bag so it doesn't smell. Yes. Blood is red. Man. Wow. So there is one way to deal with that fish to remove the scales, I think, would be uh, like this. Fasten easy. It's gotta be. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yes. Yeah. The steel brush. There's no lie, guys. Yeah, the steel brush is. It's all that. Ah, the fish is feeling weird. But sea fish are like very tasty. So this one here. Unless I take a picture and try to ask Google what that is or Yeah. That steel brush is very efficient, guys. Yeah. Ha ha ha. Beautiful, fast as light. Yeah. What's good with that brush? All the scales remains in the tray. They don't like go all over the place. They all fall in the, the, the tray. They don't, they don't scatter around. It's like the way the brush is made, it's to keep them together 
from spread, spreading all over the face. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Let's rinse it out. You see, so that would be the, the fish true color. You see? Never looks like those fish that you would buy at the fish market, you know. Is this scales or it's yeah, it is. Is it? Is it or? Yeah, if it's uh, sea fish, guys, it's gonna be delicious. Yeah. All right, let's rinse it out one more time. Yeah. So that's what the fish would look like. Yeah. It's kind of like. That's not a trout. I don't think so. Yeah, inside, look how bony this is, guys. Look. Look how bony this is. Look. You guys see? <laughs> oh my god, look. Look how bony this is. You see? The ribs. He's got a thousand ribs. My guess is a uh, fish like this one, it's best to just fry it and call it a day. Yeah, you fry it and then you can peel off the skin once it's cooked with flour. You know, you can just peel off the skin and the, leave the, uh, the frame, the skeletic alone. Yeah. It's got some flesh, you know, like some meat on it. It's just is super bony. Look, yeah, these are bones. <laughs> wow, yeah. So uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I am learning every day, guys. You know, sometimes you go out fishing and uh, you cut, you catch that. Uh, unusual fish but I know fish uh, always migrate through different waters and and you know you can where I have even seen a, a whale in, in the river a couple of years ago maybe two years ago yeah we saw a whale in the St. Lawrence River so from time to time you know like some fish either they migrate or lose their way to wait so this is like this yeah bang 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 yeah i'm gonna put it down like this yeah it's all bone man look <laughs> yeah it's all bone guys very bony yeah here easy okay he's got some meat too i will confess yeah he's got some nice meat on it all right all right so guys you know it's late what i'm gonna do i'm gonna freeze it you know i'm gonna freeze it and eventually i'm gonna give it a, a shot you know, and I'll tell you guys to what I can compare uh, that fish. What kind of fish I can compare it to. Maybe the tail here. Yeah. Okay. It, his flesh is very, very delicate. Soon as I, like, 
apply a bit of pressure already. The knife went through it. Amazing. So its flesh must be like uh, very, very soft and tender. Yeah. Wow. What's that? What's that? Yeah. Oh, well. Yeah. If you guys know what kind of fish this is, let me know. For now, I'm happy I caught something different and uh, I will eat it. Uh, I'm going to throw it in a nice sandwich bag. Not and then call it a day, you know? Yeah. Once you rinse it out, you're not gonna waste any food. Yeah. A nice sandwich bag and that's it. You have a beautiful dinner for two. With potatoes, with whatever, with with vegetables there you have it guys so this is uh, one pound something you know it's pleasant that uh, I'm able to get fish that are like over one pound you know so you're getting something interesting so that's it guys thank you for watching and um, eventually we will fry it and I will tell you exactly uh, what I think about the taste but if you know the name of that fish or whatever let me know but um, as of now I'm gonna call it unknown unknown so thank you guys for watching and uh, hopefully by June 15 we will uh, uh, sturgeon season will uh, start and then from there when you catch your sturgeon you can bring it home for now when you catch it you must release because it's not the opening season yet so in one week i think one week and a half it will be sturgeon season and i can't wait to eat some uh, sturgeon and show you guys stuff so uh you guys take care always and thank you for watching